Shalom everybody. Hi, this is Jerusalem Jane coming to you on a beautiful sunny Friday afternoon from the Jewish capital. You can hear some noise outside my window. It's amazing how Israel is blooming, blossoming, thriving. The Jewish people are coming home. Prophecies are being fulfilled. The Jewish economy is incredibly strong. Uh, buildings are going up everywhere, roads are being built. I mean, everywhere you move in Jerusalem, uh, they are building. It's incredible. It's such a good sign of progress. And uh, it's just happened to be also on the other side of my balcony here. I just want to take this opportunity to say thank you all for loving Israel, for standing with Israel for such a time as this. It's Friday again, and we already now have uh, 7,000 Muslims in the Gaza Strip who is moving towards the border fence into Israel. We have had these violent riots for months and months and months. These are the things that Hamas is, is uh, organizing. Hamas is encouraging people to go when people go to the to the to the fence, and the, and they get the the escalations are going back and forth, and with their being injured by the Israeli army, Hamas is paying them. So this is one big propaganda machine that you have to recognize for the what it is, and that is lies and propaganda coming against Israel about attacking innocent civilians. All of this is orchestrated and it's paid for by Hamas and also the other terrorist organizations or terror fractions that is inside the Gaza Strip. Even Fatah, which is Abu Mazen, Mahmoud Abbas's party, is out encouraging his people in the Gaza Strip to, to take part in these riots today. So pray for the IDF. Pray for the men and women in the Israeli Defense Forces who has to stand guard around the borders here in Israel 24-7, 365, especially at the fence going into Gaza now. Instead of being able to be home for Shabbat, to have a good Shabbat dinner and be with their families. So pray for peace here in Israel. I want to end this video by saying some people are writing, and I have said that too, you know, why don't the IDF end this? Why do we have all of these ass and balloons and the kites still coming in? And we see they're getting bigger and bigger, and I don't know how much land that has burned down in Israel. It's absolutely horrific, and the rockets that has been flying. I think if this has happened maybe a year, a year and a half, two years ago, Israel would have gone into Gaza. But Israel is facing many enemies right now, and Israel's focus is up north, mainly what's happening in Syria, with Iran, with Russia being up there, and of course in Lebanon with Hezbollah arming up, being funded by Iran, thousands and thousands of rockets are po literally pointing towards Israel. So if Israel had peace on all other fronts and was only dealing with what's, what's going on in Gaza, I think you can be certain that Israel will already have an operation right now in Gaza to end all of this. But Israel is facing many enemies and that's why I think the, the government has been a little bit pulling back and not sending in what actually needs to be dealt with in Gaza. So we will see. All I can do is just encourage you uh, to pray for the Prime Minister, Benjamin Netanyahu, pray for Avigal Lieberman, um, the Defense Minister here in Israel, that God will give them wisdom to do what's right. And of course, if this is continuing, Israel has no choice but to defend her people and take a bigger action in the Gaza Strip. And I want to end this video by saying Israel don't have any peace partners. If you think for a second Israel has anyone to negotiate peace with, you are sadly mistaken. All the different Muslim fractions who have been meeting in Egypt trying to agree on a peace deal with Israel, they don't want Israel. They don't want peace with Israel. They want Israel peace by peace. They want to turn Israel into a Palestinian state to liberate Palestine and to kill the Jews. So don't think for a second Israel has anyone to negotiate peace with. So keep us in your prayers, keep the Israeli Defense Forces in your prayers, the best and most moral army in the world. Jerusalem Jane signing off with a little wind machine in my face. It's August, it's hot here in Israel. 
Shabbat Shalom from my house to your house, wherever you are around the world. Thank you for liking, sharing, and all the comments that you have made on my page this past week. There are so many that I literally, I don't have a chance to read all of them. So if you have a message for me, if you want to make sure there's something that I see, uh, it's not even enough to tag me in it. You have to write to my inbox to make sure. And if, you, if you're wondering, why don't I see anything from Israel One Nation yet? It could be the settings on your Facebook. You would have to go on the like button here on Israel One Nation and tip off, mark off the little section that says, see first. That way you make sure that you get all of my updates. I try every day to stand in the gap for the Jewish nation. Mwah. Kids from Jerusalem, Jane, Shabbat Shalom. Have a wonderful weekend wherever you are in the world. Bye.